engagement rings and wedding rings are not allowed in Islam. Why? Because the origin of this particular uh, behavior or this, uh, this, uh, this uh, feature of marriage or whatever you like to call it actually has its Christian roots. In fact, what they used to do among some of the Trinitarian Christians, it may not be among all Christians, the man will bring the engagement ring, he will put it before in, in front of the thumb of the woman, you say, in the name of the Father, then, uh, I'm sorry, the left hand, in, name, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, then he will place the actual wedding ring on the fourth finger, and that fourth finger is called Vena Amoris, which is the vein of love which they believe is the vein connected to the heart. So by placing the ring there, this will increase the possibility of this marriage to be successful. What do we call this in Islam? Shirk. Shirk. A ring, usually golden ring. Huh? Not a lot for a Muslim man under any circumstances. So this idea, because it's Christian, and this is in the book of Sheikh Albani, rahimahullah, has, you cannot do it. If you've had an engagement ring, uh, where's the best market here for, you know, gold and silver? You better visit them soon. Visit them soon. Or do sell it and buy something else with it. You cannot be wearing an engagement ring or a wedding ring. Un-Islamic. Has a whole bunch of... The fact that some people don't believe that today does not change the fact that it, the, the origin of it is that. Once the origin is something that the non-Muslims have, and it, it, it has certain belief amongst them, that will exclude us from the picture, automatically.